Welcome to this week's episode of Debriefing Design. This month, we're celebrating our seven year anniversary and wanted to show you a project that we just completed days ago. In this episode, we'll be transforming an original 80s master bath with separate his and her vanities and closets into a bright master shower with several amenities designed to keep our clients safe and warm along with new custom his and her closets. This is Operation Warm Shower. Our clients are the original owners of this wonderful ranch style home with an expansive master suite. The bedroom itself is just shy of 600 square feet, complete with its own living area. For this project, the bathing and dressing areas became our design challenge. The house was designed with symmetrical his and her vanity and closet areas connected to a central washing room consisting of a shower, sunken bathtub, and toilet. Altogether, we had 237 square feet to play with to give our recently retired clients proper storage space for their clothes and a place for them to enjoy long warm showers. During our initial walkthrough, our main concerns were 1. The redundancy of two complete vanity areas 2. The lack of space in her closet 3. The dangers of a sunken tub and 4. The limited size of the freestanding shower along with its 6 inch tall curb. After chatting with our clients on how they utilize their existing bathroom and closets, we learned that they barely used a bathtub, her closet simply didn't have enough space, and the dry vanity on her side was never used. During space planning, we proposed eliminating one vanity area in order to double the closet size to give the wife an appropriately sized closet that could fit her wardrobe. Luckily, our clients agreed that sharing one vanity area wasn't an issue as the extra counter space just became an unnecessary surface for gathering clutter. In lieu of the two built-in linen and hamper storage cabinets, we proposed squaring off the two closets so we could gain the extra space in shelving. In the space of the unused bathtub, we proposed an oversized curbless shower with a bench for our clients and added a linen closet in the original shower location. Design tip. When designing bathrooms or kitchens, Placing plumbing on an interior wall helps reduce chances of frozen pipes in cold weather. In anticipation of a cold front, we decided to eliminate the vanity area that backed up to the exterior wall and kept the vanity that was located on an interior wall. As a result, the newly renovated bathroom did not suffer any frozen pipes from our recent Texas Snowmageddon. As an added bonus, we were able to implement our signature design element of incorporating a skylight into the shower. It's the next best thing to showering outside with daylight. Along with the heated ventilation fan we installed, cold days are no longer a concern either. While selecting materials, the floor tile was extremely critical because we were planning for an oversized curbless shower with an overall size of 5 by 7 feet. We wanted to select a lighter color on the floor as it would provide better contrast for our clients with poor eyesight and aging eyes. We were also concerned about the possibility of slipping, so we specified a floor tile with an R11 finish, which is an exterior rated finish. Since the shower could potentially be open to the rest of the bathroom, we wanted to go above and beyond to prevent any chances of falling. Another design tip. To help reduce clutter in the bathroom, we typically introduce shampoo niches. However, some clients still have a hard time keeping bottles and soaps in a presentable fashion. So instead of a solid glass shower wall, we added a couple of half walls to keep the shampoo boxes out of sight. Additionally, we installed modern grab bars throughout the new bathroom area in key locations. Vertically mounted bars at the shower bench and toilet to assist getting in and out of the seated position, and horizontally mounted bars hiding on the inside of the half walls for stability while in the shower. We added a couple of bonus features for our clients that were integrated into the design. A heated towel rack to help warm up towels before showering, and to help dry towels post-shower, was located perfectly on the outside of the left half wall. At the vanity area, we installed a lighted vanity mirror with integrated backlit 3x and 10x magnification, perfect for applying makeup or shaving. Because one of our clients suffers from arthritis, we installed motion sensor dimmer light switches for the parts of the bathroom that he would be accessing. Due to the paddle design, our client has the ability to easily control the light level as well. In terms of laying out the closets, each was tailored to their individual storage needs. For hers, plenty of drawers for folded items, undergarments, accessories, adjustable shelving for purses, hanging hooks for belts, hamper storage, full-length mirror, 
and a deep shelf across the top for storing luggage. For his, adjustable shelving for folded items, and a clear floor area for a bench while getting ready. Thanks for joining us this week on Debrief and Design. We hope you've enjoyed seeing how we were able to redistribute the space of our client's 80s master bathroom to give them an oversized curbless shower along with two custom closets worthy of storing all of their belongings. We were able to achieve a modern outcome that accommodated our client's limited mobility without impacting the aesthetics of their new space. Please leave a comment below if you have any questions or feedback about this project. Let us know what type of project you would like to see next. Make sure to subscribe and turn on notifications for new episodes. Operation Warm Shower. Case closed.